tomorrow morning, those of you that finally continue in a natural condition that shall keep out of hell longest will be there in a little time. Your damnation does not slumber. It will come swiftly and in all probability very suddenly upon many of you. And you have reason to wonder that you are not already in hell. It is doubtless the case of some whom you have seen and known that never deserved hell more than you and that heretofore appeared as likely to have been now alive as you. And their case is past all hope. They are crying in extreme misery and perfect despair. But here you are in the land of the living and in the house of God and have an opportunity to obtain salvation. What would not those poor, damned, hopeless souls give for one day's opportunity such as you now enjoy? And now you have an extraordinary opportunity. A day wherein Christ has thrown the door of mercy wide open and He stands and calling and crying with a loud voice to poor sinners. A day wherein many are flocking to Him and pressing into the kingdom of God. Many are daily coming from the east, west, north and south. Many that were very lately in the same miserable condition that you are in are now in a happy state with their hearts filled with love to Him who has loved them and washed them from their sins in His own blood and rejoiced in hope of the glory of God. How awful is it to be left behind at such a day, to see so many others feasting while you are pining and perishing, to see so many rejoicing and singing for joy of heart while you have caused to mourn for sorrow of heart and howl for vexation of spirit. How can you rest one moment in such a condition? Are not your souls as precious as the souls of the people at Suffield where they are flocking from day to day to Christ? Are there not many here who have lived long in the world and are not to this day born again? And so are aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and have done nothing ever since they have lived but treasure up wrath against the day of wrath? Oh, says, your case, your case is in a special manner is extremely dangerous. Your guilt and hardness of heart is extremely great. Do you not see how generally persons of your years are passed over and left in the present remarkable and wonderful dispensation of God's mercy? You had need to consider yourselves and awake thoroughly out of sleep. You cannot bear the fierceness and wrath of the infinite God. And you, young men and young women, will you neglect this precious season which you now enjoy when so many others of your age are renouncing all youthful vanities and flocking to Christ? You especially have now an extraordinary opportunity. But if you neglect it, it will soon be with you as with those persons who spent all the precious days of youth in sin and are now come to such a dreadful pass in blindness and hardness. And you children who are unconverted. Do not you know that you are going down to hell to bear the dreadful wrath of that God who is now angry with you every day and every night? Will you be content to be the children of the devil when so many other children in the land are converted and are become the holy and happy children of the King of Kings? And let every one that is yet out of Christ and hanging over the pit of hell, whether they be old men and women, or middle-aged, or young people, or little children now hearken to the loud calls of God's Word and providence. This acceptable year of the Lord, a day of such great favors to some, will doubtless be a day of as remarkable vengeance to others. Men's hearts harden, and their guilt increases apace at such a day as this. If they neglect their souls, and never was there so great a danger of such persons being given up to hardness of heart and blindness of mind. God seems now to be hastily gathering in His elect in all parts of the land, 
and probably the greater part of the adult persons that ever shall be saved will be brought in now in a little time and that it will be as it was on the great outpouring of the Spirit upon the Jews in the Apostles' days. The election will obtain and the rest will be blinded. If this should be the case with you, you will eternally curse this day and will curse the day that ever you was born to see such a season of the pouring out of God's Spirit and will wish that you had died and gone to hell before you had seen it. Now, undoubtedly it is, as it was in the days of John the Baptist, the axe is in an extraordinary manner laid at the root of the trees, that every tree which brings not forth good fruit may be hewn down and cast into the fire. Therefore, let everyone that is out of Christ now awake and fly from the wrath to come. The wrath of Almighty God is now undoubtedly hanging over a great part of this congregation. Let everyone fly out of Sodom. Haste and escape for your lives. Look not behind you. Escape to the mountain, lest you be consumed.